go straight to KPX 5's Andrea Borba at the Powell Street BART station. Andrea? Well, Veronica, the gates went up here at Powell Street just about 40 minutes ago, and BART is running once again, but they had to single track during this emergency while crews were down in that tunnel on the tracks trying to take care of this situation. The incident happened on the tracks at Powell Street Station at 2 p.m. BART says witnesses told them the person intentionally entered the trackway before the collision. The investigation closed Powell Street Station for hours and forced BART to single track while fire crews and investigators looked at the scene. The single tracking caused major delays and confusion. In fact, I was going to ask, you know, how do I go to like the next station? Are you trying to get to the airport right now? Yes. What time is your flight? It's late, about uh, 6 p.m. or something like this. Are you worried you're going to miss it? No. No? What do you get? Are you? I have too much time. <laughs> Commuters, for whom this is an all too familiar and sad moment, were patient. Really sad, you know, about the situation, but it is affecting my commute, and I have to just be as understanding as I can be. Pray for the family and um, all those involved. I'll get home eventually. Now, Muni and AC Transit provided assistance to BART riders. They could have shown their ticket to get across the Bay Bridge or to get down to SFO. But at this point, BART is reopened fully here at Powell Street Station. The single tracking is done, but there are still residual delays for commuters right here at the 5 o'clock hour. Back to you, Alan and Veronica.